How's it? Welcome to Baz's Garage. Um, long time no see in the garage here. Um, just sort of had a bit of a rest from being in the garage. Um, been out racing, having a bit of fun, as you can see by some of the videos. Uh, what I thought I'd show you today is um, how to cut uh, the keyways in shafts. Now, this is obviously not an engineer's way. It's not as accurate as you could possibly get. But for the home person, you can do it without any major specialist tools. And it just enables you to do these little bits that sometimes you've got to take into an engineer to get done. And it should save you a little bit of money um, in the long run. Now, obviously, it's something we do quite a bit in lawnmower racing. We're quite often cutting keyways and that. So, um, yeah, just a, just a way that I can do it at home. So what we're aiming to do is we're aiming to get a slot like one of these cut in here because you have a piece of um, what they call key steel and this is a six millimeter by six millimeter key steel and you can buy this from most engineering shops it's not very expensive and the idea is as you cut a short piece of this it fits perfectly in this groove and um, and then it locks the wheel on or the axle or the whatever you're using to hold it onto there um, so yeah that's the idea now what you need is I'll throw this down here is you need one of these things um, it's called a, a, a milling bit now this is a, um, a milling bit with the four cutters on the outside, not the two. Now you can buy these, um, I buy them off AliExpress, so this is one that I bought, which is a 5mm, or we'll turn that around, this is a 5mm one, um, and it's just basically, um, so you can cut a 5mm slot. Now obviously as you're aware, this is 6mm, and so... The reason we have to go for the smaller, not the 6mm, if we use the 6mm size, because our drill press is going to have some movement and some wobble in it, it's going to be too loose. So you have to use a slightly smaller bit, and then you just take small pieces off to get the right size. So all I do is I've got a drill press here. Now this is a, a, a relatively cheap drill press from uh, Bunnings, I think I bought it from. Um, I think it was about 500 bucks or so for the complete drill press. Now it's quite a strong one. Uh, the good part about it is that it's got adjustable speed and you can just change the speed by moving the lever on the other side there and you change the speed. So the speed that you do this at is important because the size of this determines the speed you need to go. So there are charts you could look up. Um, I think I've got this set to about 12, 1400 RPM, which is sort of seems to be cutting quite well. But a good idea is depending on the size of the bit you use, check on the size that uh, the speed you need. You also need one of these things, which is an XY vice. So what this is, is it enables me to wind this and it goes backwards and forwards and I wind the other handle and it moves it in and out. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get your bit and you need to put it into the drill. And then obviously tighten up your drill. So hopefully that will tighten up for me. Here we go. Now what I do is I make sure that it's gone right up inside the drill so that when you're pressing on the end of it, it's actually pressing right up the shaft. Now normally in a mill, this is held in by collets and all that sort of stuff. But as I say, we haven't got a mill. They're a lot more expensive, so we're not going to use those. So the next thing you do is you want to look at where this is sitting and you want to get it into the middle of the shaft. Now you can get really technological and you can wind this in and you can get yourself a... Uh, a set of flash verniers from AliExpress or somebody like that because they're always kind of good to have. Turn them on and you can see there hit the uh, the measurements here and what you can do is you can come in here and you can actually I'll just loosen this off you can measure the distance it's a bit hard to show you on this but you can measure the distance between there and the bit and the same on the other side and they should be pretty similar so you end up with the same distance between Okay, so once you've done that and you've got the equidistant between both sides, then you want to start it up. Now you do need to use some cutting oil. Um, you can get soluble oil or just a bit of uh, thread cutting stuff, anything just to lubricate the end of the tip. And then what you do is you put your safety glasses on and you start up the drill. So we're running, oh, we're running about 2000, so I might slow that down a little bit, about 1800. That's the speed that it's at. Now, because this here, I can't hold the depth, I just wind this down to what I feel is about the right depth, wind this in, and then wind it down until it just starts to cut, and then wind it through. So I'm only taking a very small cut, but you can see that it is actually cutting steel. You take it really slow. Go so really, really slow so you're not loading anything up too much. Very slowly. 
Okay, now I'll just take this up and wind this back out. And turn it off and I'll just grab a little bit of compressed air here and I'm just going to clean this out a little bit with the compressed air. So what you can see has happened is we've actually cut a little slot right here. So that slot there, at the moment it's not 6 millimeters, it's 5. And so what you have to do now is you have to wind this across a little bit and take a little bit of a piece across the side so that it comes to the right sort of size. So I'll just take this out of here so you can actually see the whole process. So what I've done is this is one that I've done earlier. I'll just give it over here and give it a bit of a clean out. So this is one that I've done earlier in the same process. So I've actually cut it out completely. And if I get my 5 mil, 6 mil, sorry, the 6 mil fits in there pretty good. So it's not going to be engineer quality, but it's going to do what you need to do. And you obviously can make this as long as you like and as deep as you like. Generally what you do is you go half the width of this. So if this is 6 millimeters, you take this down 3 millimeters, And then when that sits in there, you've got 3 millimeters protruding. And then that other half of it will go into the wheel or the part that you're attaching to it. So you can see the bit that I just did. I've only got a little tiny bit of it there. Um, it's just cut through there. And I'll just go back and forward three or four times until I get the slot cut to the size that I want. Um, and then you tidy it up as best you can with the uh, with the bit on the end of it. Uh, and then when you've done, cut your steel and the steel will fit in there and then you've got your keyway cut. So effectively what we're doing is we're cutting a keyway with a drill press and an XY vice. Now, I can't stress this enough. You've got to be very slow at doing this because this here has small amounts of movement in it and it can vibrate and carry on, not like a mill which is solid. So you have to take it very slowly. And then when you move back and forward, take your time, take a very small cut, check the width of it, check that it fits in until you get it to, to get it to fit. So hopefully that gives you a bit of a clue as to how to do that. Like this is a short video today to show you. Um, the next video I'll do will be how we cut the next part of it. So obviously once we've cut the hole in there, then we have a wheel and we cut the slot in the side of it there. And then obviously if this was the right size, that would slide down through there and it locks the two, the shaft and the wheel together. So um, hopefully that's given you a bit of a plan. Um, that's about it for today at Bezos Garage. Uh, we'll catch you back here next time and we will do um, the next part of the cutting. Now you can cut in your shaft, then we'll cut in the wheel and you can do this all at home. Uh, without any major drama so um, obviously investing in some tools is worth it uh, and bits and pieces will help you out but other than that this is garage